Welcome, new year, new you, 2020 cooking show. How much fun is this? <laughs> Silence. Peter here has an award-winning buffalo chicken dip. We had a party here last year at work. It was like a competition where everyone made like a different side for, you know, football. Peter won, I helped him a little bit and it was delicious. And I said, we should put this recipe on the site, but let's tweak it a little bit. What we're gonna teach you in this recipe is how to roast a perfect chicken, how to make a homemade ranch dressing, and that's it basically. You're learning those couple things. Maybe some more little tidbits along the way, who knows. We are going to take our chicken. I always like to tuck the wing tips under. Hi, hi Peter. Hello. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna tuck it under. So just tucks under just like that. That kind of holds it in place a little bit. Roast more evenly. Also for presentation purposes, it looks nicer. So I'm gonna season my bird. I just like to season it with just plain old salt. Kosher salt. So season it kind of all over. Don't forget to season the inside as well. So this is almost a, a brine. You're, it's a dry brine essentially. I'm also going to tie the legs together. So just like this, okay? So we've salted our chicken. We're gonna leave it in the refrigerator overnight uncovered. The next day you're gonna take your chicken out of the refrigerator and leave it just on the counter for about an hour to come to room temperature. And then you're gonna roast it at 425 degrees, about an hour or so. I've already taken the liberty of brining and roasting a chicken because I need it to be cool in time to do this recipe. So that's already done. We have our beautiful roasted chicken. You could roast this a day ahead of time, but this is cool enough that we can take it out. And oh yeah. Ooh myself a little bit. So remove that old string. What we're gonna do is break down this chicken. I wanna save all the skin because the skin I am going to crisp up in some hot oil and make almost like crispy chicken skin. It's gonna be a garnish for this, which is pretty delicious. Trust me, if you put crispy chicken skin on top of this to garnish, you'll win. You're gonna win the Super Bowl. But this one, it's gonna break down our chicken. I am going to be a little bit more gentle with my skin. All this good, good juice in here. I'm gonna pick the meat, and I'm gonna put the meat back into this juice. Don't discard all this, that's all good flavor. Discarding our bones. Save the bones for chicken stock. You could literally just cover this with water. The bones and stuff, any excess stuff you have, make chicken stock with it, super easy. So usually I would do this, I would carve this a bit nicer. We're just gonna rip it off with our hands, so it doesn't matter. Buffalo chicken wings were invented um, in Buffalo, New York in around 1964 at the Anchor Bar. A little bit of dispute as to you know, why it was it came about. The mom of the place says it was because the son came in, she needed to like make something for the kids. Nobody wants the little wingtips, whatever, all that stuff. They never really use it for anything, so they kind of fried them up, made the sauce, well, away you go. We're gonna pick off all this meat, shred it up a little bit. You want it all bite-sized. Don't forget, I think I missed my oysters. That is the best part of chicken. You save that for yourself, okay? Peter, you know what? You can have this one, come here. Oyster. Oh, what if I just didn't give it to you? I don't want to give it to you now. Better with that little salt. Mm. Get it in there? Yeah. It's good? You're welcome. Sorry. Sorry, you guys. You get fucking nothing. You're going to get the dip at the end, okay? Don't forget to save that old wishbone. Peter and I are going to pull it in a little bit. Not too finely chopped, roughly chopped. You don't need to like cube it or anything like that. I'm going to put it back into these juices here. Let it soak up all that extra flavor. Look at that. Mix it all in there. Oh, all those pan juices. That's like the best part. It's what you're making your gravy with. You're basically doing the same thing here. I'm gonna heat up some oil. We're just doing a little shallow fry. We're gonna take our chicken skin and just kind of roughly chop it, maybe into like, I think I say in the recipe, like one inch pieces, but it doesn't matter. Nothing better than crispy chicken skin. Why are we gonna throw away that delicious skin? At first I thought about putting the skin back into the dip, then it gets kind of lost in there and it's not crispy and nobody really likes weird chicken skin in their shit. At the end of the day, all I want to do here is make a dip that Peter will be proud of. I want him to like my dip. I don't want him to like it more than his own dip. I know I can't beat that dip, but I just want you, Peter, to like this dip enough. Okay, I'm gonna fry this up. Oh yeah. Woo, look at it go. Goes fast. It only takes about a minute or two. Once it stops basically bubbling, it's essentially done. Take that out, put her there. Second batch of it's going on in. Be careful, don't burn yourself, okay? You can also do this ahead of time. It will stay crispy. Let it dry completely, let it cool down, and then put it in an airtight container and it'll stay crispy. Look at this beautiful chicken skin. You heard that. Oh, it's so good. We got that all taken care of. 
we can make our homemade ranch, okay? A basic ranch is gonna be mayonnaise, sour cream, a little bit of buttermilk, about a tablespoon or so, half a teaspoon of white vinegar, some garlic powder, dill, and chives. And you have homemade ranch dressing right here. Peter is very skeptical always. He thinks that homemade ranch comes out more liquidy than store-bought ranch. You can't tell? Well, do you want me to get out? Yeah, get the ranch. Do you have ranch? Yeah, of course I do. Okay, ready? Wait, close your eyes. Okay. No, I don't trust you. Close your eyes. Close them. <laughs> close them, come on. I don't want you to see what's... All right. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. I'll try that one. They taste pretty similar, right? Yeah, they taste about... It's the second one still up. Which one do you like more? First one. <laughs> <laughs> That's yours. Nope. The first two were both mine. <laughs> I just gave you is the star bot. <laughs> I can just do this. You don't need to feed me. <laughs> I'm gonna feed you. I yeah. like feeding you. They're different, but like same time. Maybe it's fancy buffalo chicken dip is what we're calling it, okay? One of the essential, in my opinion, ingredients in buffalo chicken dip also would have to be the blue cheese. Because classically, you know, buffalo chicken wings, they get a blue cheese or and or a ranch dip. So we're gonna kind of combine the two. So this is all based off of Peter's recipe, which if I can call you out, Peter, for one second, is based off of Frank's Red Hot recipe. Am I right? Which is directly on the bottle. It's one package of cream cheese, which we're using. Half a cup of Hidden Valley Ranch, okay? Half a cup of the wing sauce. We're gonna use three quarters of a cup. Peter uses a whole bottle of this. Whew, crazy. Half a cup of crumbled blue cheese. This is about half a cup. I think it's four ounces. And two cups of shredded chicken. That's it. We're adding to it cheddar cheese. I'm gonna put about two thirds of this cheddar cheese into the mixture and then I'm gonna put some on top. We're gonna to put it in the oven. It's gonna be delicious. Blue cheese goes right in. Okay. We're gonna do almost all of this. Oh, Amanda, where's my snack and cheese? No, it's all right, too late. Three quarters of a cup of wing sauce, whatever sauce you want. Now remember, wing sauce is mainly just a really vinegary hot sauce mixed with some butter. Now look, our chicken is looking really good. It's soaked up a lot of those juices. We're just gonna dump this all into here. Give it a mix. Gonna add the cream cheese. What you were doing in the recipe when I was helping you with it last year for this dip party, which you won, was taking the cream cheese and spreading it in the bottom of here. And I was just like, why don't you like crumble it like into little chunks so that you have little pockets of cream cheese in there. Throw it on in, a little, like I said, chunks. Adon says that's one whole little packet of cream cheese. You wanna try a bite out like this? Before? No, no we'll wait, we'll wait till it's done, we'll wait till it's done. We'll wait till it's done, okay. It's just like buffalo chicken salad. This is, this is buffalo chicken salad. You could put it in the oven like this, but why not add more cheese on top, you said? We're going to. So we did. In the oven. 425, 10 minutes or so. Ready for this? Come over here, Peter. We got a wishbone. Ready to go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, ooh. we knew. Where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> Gross. No one won it. No wishes come true. Both our wishes come true. Both our wishes come true. <laughs> Dip's been in the oven for about 10 minutes at 425. We turn on the boiler. We're gonna stick it under the boiler just to let the cheese melt a little more. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Now we're gonna wait like 10 minutes because this will burn everything about your mouth right now. Serve it with celery sticks, classic. Some tortilla chips. You can also do some bread if you want, whatever, it doesn't matter. We're gonna put our crispy, crispy chicken skin on top. Oh my gosh, it literally looks like pork crackling. Then we're gonna put some scallions on the top as well. Ready for your football dreams. Or nightmares. Should we have Amanda hold the camera and you can come and eat this with me? Jump, jump on it. Hold the camera. <laughs> just hold it, all you should do is hold it. All right. My first lesson. Okay, what do I do? Okay. Put it up on your shoulder. Hold on my shoulder. How do you know when you're um, level? Okay, we good? Should I move this board out of the way? We'll just do this. We got our football plates. Double board. Plate for you, plate for me. We got some extra ones. Here we go. I'm really excited for you to try this. I really do hope you love it. I think I will. Cheers. Cheers. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. I'm not saying it's better than yours, but you approve, right? I approve. Yes. That's all I ask. Cheers. It's a different take on both of those things. But a good take. Where can we get the recipe, Peter? 
on the link below. You can find the recipe on the link below.